Hey guys, it's your friendly redneck backwoods admin sticks. Um, I'm going to show you today how to get plenty of blood and feathers for Primal Fear. Uh, Allie asked me to go ahead and make a video because she asked me, Sticks, how do you get so many? You said you had a special method. What's what's special? I said, okay, well, you need to make a farm. Well, okay, how do you make a farm? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. You um, use a propagator. Let me show you what I got, what I got going on here. Okay, you throw your, your element in there. You throw your uh, throw one male and a couple of females. I mean, I, I use quite a bit. And you start them to breeding. Um, let's see. All of them's recovering. I wonder why. Oh yeah, I think I've made it stop. I start dropping them. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll go in here. Stop breeding. Start breeding. Um, let's start breeding all of them. And it is holding the eggs. They're probably all spoiled, to be honest with you. Okay, um, first off, we need some apex. Look at all these eggs. Okay, so we'll take these eggs out of here. I just got one set up for each of the types of blood and stuff we have. And uh, just take out however many I think I might need. I'm going to take out a few of them. Go put them into a soul terminal or whatever it is, however you hatch them. Um, I personally, myself, I like the soul terminal. But some people, they don't like it. If you want to use the soul terminal, all you can do is go into options, um, automation, fertilized egg incubation. Make sure that's checked. And... As long as it's checked, your eggs will incubate relatively quickly. Let's see what we have in here. Hmm, okay. Let's see what we have over here. This is my dark difference. This is where I get my feathers. Okay, I can go ahead and show you some of these guys too. Um, just grab a few of those. Oh, those in the soul tunnel as well. That's not the soul tunnel. Well, that's the soul tunnel. Okay. So first things first. You got your your breeders, and then you want to get one of these guys here. You need a, a divine Therizinazar, um, or a fabled Therizinazar works the best. I hope I'm saying that right. I may or may not be. I'm really not sure. I just call them tickle chickens. Here they go tickle tickle. Okay. I have two of them. They don't have to be primes or alphas or anything like that. This one here is an alpha. This one here is not. Um, so, meat, liberty, and justice. You can't really see it, but they're red. Well, I guess you can. They're red, white, and blue. Okay, the Liberty here, she is my, he is my blood getter. Okay, see the view harvesting levels? Come over here, I have invested all of the harvesting in delicate, delicate uh, harvesting. Um, what this does is it multiplies the amount of all delicate things that, or everything that he harvests that is that the game calculates using the delicate setting. Where Justice over here, he's my heavy hitter. Um, if I view your, view your harvesting levels here, uh, well, I guess he, uh, I'm not sure how that has happened because he's got 199 levels here and 175 here. Maybe he was... Hmm. Let's see. I guess he was um 
evolved. Either way, he has 199 levels in uh, in power harvesting. I guess technically I could use this guy here for both the heavy and the light, but I have it. Maybe that's what I was going for. Yeah, I think I was. Let's go keep a track of this over here. Okay, so we can go ahead and hatch these guys here. And you'll see my soul terminals pick them up automatically. Um, and that is because I have soul terminal or soul balls here, soul traps here. And if you go into the settings uh, under options, go to newborn auto trap, and you can enable that. Um, and uh, it will soul trap any newborn uh, dinos that it has in its area. And I believe this means it's 15, a 15 foundation in each direction um, distance. I'm not real sure on how far away these things, um, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can turn on the visible and you can see it. It's like, see, it, see a blue glow. I'm not sure how far away this is. If this is 50, it might be 15 foundations. But anyway, it. If a newborn is found in any of this area, it will pick it up. I don't trap it. Let's go back in here, turn that visible off. You can also turn mating on and off within that. But keep in mind, um, it will turn all dinos on or off in that area. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get our little dillos out here. We don't care what what uh, sex they are, what gender. Just throw them out. And this is the same method we do for both blood and for feathers. Because we know if we want apex blood, we get apex blood from apex dinos. Let's throw all these little guys out. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Then I'll come over here, get me a mutator, get me a growth boost. Oh, watch these guys just grow. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ooh, they look evil over here. Oh, boy, that was a lag spike. Look at them grow. Okay, so since I'm getting blood, I'm gonna get on a little bit here. He's my blood getter. And for blood, um, for blood you want to do the delicate harvest uh, attack, which is the I call it the tickle attack. But anyway, you what you'll want is you'll want the dino gun, and you'll want to set it on kill, and you can kill them ahead of time. Um, because whenever you're on the tickle chicken and you go to right click or you know it, it changes the the uh, command on the gun so for the ones that you want blood for you want to go ahead and put it on kill you just want to kill all these guys just go ahead and kill them they're full once they're fully grown go ahead and kill them and you put away your gun so you don't accidentally kill anything else Get on your tickle chicken that has been fully harvested on delicate, and you tickle away. I mean, it, yeah. See that? Now let's go see how much blood we have. That's wrong button. There we go. Four thousand blood just off of one tickle. Um, Look at that, 7,000 apex hide, 5,000 blood just off of those like five or six. And uh, we go back into the inventory. 
Almost 10,000 foot. And, whew, man, yeah, we stocked up on the meat. And uh, I'm going to send everything to my dedicated storage. Okay. So now we go in here. It's all gone. Okay. So that was for the blood. So you should not have, as long as you've got breeders, you shouldn't ever run out of blood. You can do that for every single type of blood that Primal Fear has, except for um, Primal uh, Blood. And in order to get Primal Blood, you have to actually kill wild Primal Dinos. And then don't harvest them with your, with, with your killer dino. Harvest them with your fairy. And if you do that, then you'll get, you know, several thousand. Um, you know, while, while this is, while these are incubating, let's go out here and take this guy here out and see if I can find my primal. There, well, you know, there's one right up there. A lot of people get scared of Kentros. Ooh, not just one. Probably gonna kill me. So it hits on full force. Let's throw on my spyglass so I can see what's going on here. Oh, I get to level her the damage up. It's um, 8 million, eh, 15, 24, let's say 100 million. Okay. And then the rest we'll put into melee damage. This guy's just been sitting there, hadn't really killed anything. That's just uh, experience that I have gained over time. Okay. So where are these guys? Okay, they're still down there. There we go. Alright. So since we've killed both the primal controls, I'll come down here and I will summon my tickle chicken. Never do my tickle chicken. Okay, so let's go over here. I want you to watch over on the left hand side of my screen. Just now got 1,095 primal blood. That one there, 1,971. So I just now got almost 3,000 primal blood. Let's see. Over 3,000 primal blood. Simply by just killing two primals so there you go for the primal blood and uh, then I can send her back or him back I need to change it to a female Liberty to me is just a female's name Okay. Alright, let's um, send this back to storage. Transfer complete. Let's uh, check out these two guys here. Okay, they're ready to rock and roll. Let's 
just drop them guys there out. If you're unaware, the reason that I have uh, dark griffins is because your lights and your darks, they all give you all four types of feathers. If it's not a light or not a dark, if it's a caustic, uh, it gives you caustic feathers. If it's uh, electric, it gives you electric feathers and so forth. But the darks and lights, the ones that you need um, elemental advance for, that will give you four types of feathers. Okay, so let's throw these out. I'll go ahead and drop this guy out. I'll deal with him later. Go ahead and throw all these out and then grow them up. Throw a speed boost on them. Keep in mind, you can also do this out in the wild on. Ooh, I'm not killing that dude. On uh, wild dinos, but if you raise them, you always have a supply. Um, you, like if I wanted as many feathers as I got here, I'd have to go out and kill you know a dozen dark something or others. Come on, grow, babies, grow. And you want to grow them because you want their base health to be as high as it can be. You can do it as they're they're little as when they're babies, but you don't you don't get as much. And for this one, we're going to use justice. Oh, this is liberty. So I'm going to come back over here. And since we're going to be left clicking instead of right clicking, we can pull out the gun while we're on it. Okay, so if I look, no, see, I got the gun. Let them grow up. Let me show you there's nothing in his inventory. Come on. Y'all ready to see the feathers roll? All right, here we go. One attack. Three attack, three attacks. Boom. Now, look at that. 12,000 caustics. 14,000 electrics. 8,000 ice. 10,000 fire. And then, of course, you get all the meat and the hide to go along with it. So, I would say it's a pretty good deal. So, now let's go in here and just see how many I have in stock. Let's see, feathers. Wow, 230,000. Um, all the hides, the bloods. Okay, if y'all want to know how I get as much as I do of anything, or or um, even if you can give me some tips, please feel free to leave me a message, leave me a comment, whatever you would like. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.